One day, you're going to look around and you're going to realize that everybody loves you, but nobody likes you. And that is the loneliest feeling in the world. I admit it, another hole got me finished. Broke my heart, oh no you didn't. This shit like Cardi. I'm a district in the jack. Hey everyone, Nerd97 here, back again with another video. Today, um, trade time. Uh, so it looks like today we have another trade out of multiple trades that have been happening over the past couple days. Um, this is just one of many that will likely be happening over the next couple weeks. So, I would be prepared for a lot of trade videos coming out. Um, this might not, not, this might not even be the last one today. Uh, there's been tons of, tons of trade rumors, tons of re-signings, and a big thing that we gotta talk about as well. Retirement, signings, it's like everything's happening today. But first off, let's get into the trade between the Vegas Golden Knights and the Chicago Blackhawks. So the Vegas Golden Knights acquired Dylan Secura from the Chicago Blackhawks, and Chicago acquired Brandon Porto? It's just supposed to say Brandon Peary. Brandon Peary from the from the Vegas Golden Knights. So, Brandon Peary returning to Chicago after um, being with Vegas for quite a bit. And uh, let's just say he was not as successful in Vegas as we thought he was going to be. Um, in 16 games this season, he was 0-2-2. So that makes him two assists, two points. So, you know, not the best statistics that you would want in a player. So I would be fairly dis disappointed in him. But he is a he's a third-line center. I mean, third, fourth-line center. So, you know, maybe he'll help with Chicago because, you know, he had that chemistry with Chicago before. Some of those lineups, you know, you get those together, you can yeah, you can have some solid lineup. What did Vegas get get in return? So Vegas got back Dylan Secura, um, who had nine NHL games, had one goal, two assists for three points this season. Uh, he's a right wing, fourth line, basically a fourth line player, fourth third line player. Um, I think this is basically just an exchange of of um, bottom six players, to be honest with you. I don't think that any of these teams are really going to affect the affect um are really going to affect each other at all. To be honest, with you. I think it's basically just like a it's going to become a forgotten trade most likely. That's that's what's it, that's what it's been with a lot of trades. Um, you know the um there's been a few trades um in the past few um in the past few um you know past few months. So you know with this, I think it's just the, I think it's just an exchange of um. Bottom six players. I, I don't really think a team wins this trade. I think both of these players aren't really going to help the team out at all. They're basically AHL players. So, you know, it, it is what it is. So, yeah. If you enjoyed this short little video, you really like it, the subscribe button. We're trying to get the 600 subscribers by the end of the year. I thought I'd just come in here, cover the trade real quick, give you guys my thoughts. So, yeah. Thanks for the same. Thank you guys so much for the constant support. I'll see you guys next video.